Hey guys, welcome back to the cosmic upgrade of oxygen not included. Today we're going to be fixing up our water and power situations as well as making some progress towards actually getting to the outside of the map, which we will do hopefully shortly after we get exosuits. Let's get into it. I'm just thinking, what should I do for energy? Uh, I feel like coal is... It's going to be... I'm going to have to use it at some point, unfortunately. I don't know if I can avoid using coal. So if we put all of this back in here, is it going to overflow? Ah, I don't know. Oh no, we can't do that. Wait. Why did I even put that there? How do we do this? Enable auto bottling. Disable that one. So hopefully they do that. Oh! Eggshell to lime! Cool! We do actually have eggshell. Cool. Um, we have five kilos. Oh, do we have 200? Ah, we have 200 and it requires five kilos. Okay. If we look at consumable ore, we have about five tons of coal. What is this? Oh, it's bleachstone. Wow, I've, it's really accessible. It looks so different than that. Because it's just outside of the biome. That's really weird. We could just grab all of that. Probably even all of this. As if we're insufficient. It's so close though. Oh shit, we would have got here. Oh no, we didn't. Ah, oh, what is this? Sandstone? Ah, oh, no, it's granite. We can't get through the granite. Damn it. Bugger. So we do need a miner. Okay. Um, well... Oh, we don't have one. <laughs> we don't have one. Should we hire one? But then all of our problems are going to come up really quickly. Ooh. That's difficult. We have seeds. Blossom, mealwood, meh. I want to get the dust caps. If we could grab one dust cap, that would be really good, but we can't really get through there. So we do need a miner. Let's see if we actually have one. Ooh. Wow. Bottomless stomach though. But wow, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. Hassan, huh? All right. Let's see. Um what am I going to call Hassan? Alright, we're going to call you... Kiru. Cool. So now we've got five. We've still got a lot to go. A lot of name suggestions. Also, if you guys um, didn't see the last video or haven't thought of a name, feel free to leave one in the comments and I will add it to the list. I'm just picking them all at random, so even if you pick one, even if you leave a suggestion now, you could be the next one, who knows? <laughs> but now we've got problems. We need to start working on stuff quickly.
I think oxygen, oxygen. I still have a lot of algae. I still have like 10 tons of algae. So it's not really a problem. Also, I need to give this guy a job. Key rule. There you go. <laughs> this is such a mess. I can't wait to fix that up properly. Also, I should do that. So then we can just dig around it. Without really worrying about it. And I'll change the priorities. So... Ah, oh, combat, yeah. And digging. You're going to be doing that. Oh, we got one of these guys. Oh. We can't wrangle him. I feel like we should just kill him. <laughs> as mean as that is. Got sand over there. I'll just keep an eye on him and when he goes in his hole... We'll kill him. I just don't want him eating all our stuff. We have a, like, that's full of copper and useful things. <laughs> Can't fight back in there. Alright, um, we can grab that too. Cool. So now we can actually get through this? We can, yeah. Nice. So we can grab that one. And there's a dust cap here. It has slime long though. Wait. No, the dust cap doesn't have slime long. No. But if we grab it, we might get slime long. <laughs> mm. It's tough. It would uh, help our progress out a lot, though. What are you doing eating in there, Kiru? What the hell? We've got to keep an eye on this guy. Nort's going to dig through there. Oh, no, he's not. Kiru has to dig through there. That's obsidian. And there's also a thimble reed over there. If we could... Oh, there's one, there's one going over here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. There's already a reed fiber there too. Once we dig out that tile, it'll just fall through. And it shouldn't be diseased. You know what? Cancel that. Just dig it. Oh. Arc, yeah. Ah. Uh, dig it for now. We'll quickly grab that. Wait. Pufflet egg? Uh. We'll quickly... We'll grab that. And then... Yeah. Then we'll just leave. So do that ASAP and then we'll build a tile here and just close that off. There's there's like gold and stuff here too. Quick, don't get diseased. Oh grab it. <laughs> Sweep. Damn it. Don't let the disease in. It's not coming in yet. Come on, grab it. Do they not have a place to put it? Ah, oh, every time you discover something new, you need to rejig all this stuff. 
Industrial ingredients. Yeah. Okay. So now grab it. No. Not yet. Don't want that disease getting through. Okay. Now you can go to sleep. We can close that off. Ooh, no. Ah! <laughs> Need to put a deodorizer there. It should stop everything from getting through if we do that. Oh, research. Oh, shit. We got the exosuit. Wow. Holy crap. We're getting through it pretty quickly, aren't we? Oh, we don't even have a coal generator if we even if we wanted to build it, so let's do that. Okay. So now we can do the fungal stuff. Awesome. Where would I put that though? Maybe in here. Uh I don't even know if there's enough carbon dioxide for them in here. If I also if I go lower, oh, we can get rid of that. Cool. That means we can mop the rest. Let's just go a bit lower. Ooh, hello. That would be diseased for sure. Ooh. It's only a little bit from these guys. They're so annoying. Uh, it would have been a good place otherwise. And we can go straight down there to grab it. But that's okay. Uh, as for the thimble reed, we should get that planting soon. Just check the water overlay. So, Thimble Reed needs... It needs polluted water, right? Right? We'll just put one there, like we did last time. So now we can make... Exosus... Ah, oh, 400. We've got 200. Oh, it only makes 50. Ah. I think I'm going to have to re-remove this. I'm going to put it in a different spot. Because it's kind of in the way. But in order to do that, I need to freaking... Ah. Uh, Destroy it first, or I could put it like here. Damn it. You know what? I'll do it. I'll put it here. Then we'll get rid of that. Because we need probably need a ladder in here anyway. And for the plumbing. Go like that. Oh, it needs power too. Yeah. And when I get rid of that, it'll be a lot better. <laughs> Another dupe. Ooh, I don't know if we want to do that just yet. Thimble reed. Yes. So it needs polluted water. Yep. And oxygen. Cool. Easy. Because my thinking is, if I can clean all this, 
then I can put some stuff down here. This is where all the carbon dioxide will build up, right? Hypothermia. Little Sneaky has hypothermia. Oh no. <laughs> Not Little Sneaky. Alright. So, liquid pump. I'm going to deconstruct that. And that too. And those ones. <sighs> oh, research. Right, I keep forgetting. We did that pretty quickly, actually. Oh, no, it's going the wrong way now. Got to get rid of that. That's got to go this way. Although I'd like to put a mesh tile. Don't want it just going down on the ladder as they're walking down. So now, buildings. I'm going to have to do the same thing here with the liquid pump. Alright, uh, disable that. And we'll enable the auto bottling. Cool. So we'll get rid of that water as soon as we can. Hopefully it doesn't break that. I wonder how strong that is. So now we can build the Exosuit Forge. If I just check the power, we've pretty much used it all up. This requires 480, so we would need another circuit. Uh, I think I should get some automation stuff. And smart batteries. Where are they? There. Okay. Because then I could have a coal generator running. Maybe we'll put it up here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, actually, we don't want the... We don't want it to breathe in there. Do we have heavier doors? We do. Alright. I'll probably just close it and lock it. We'll just put a mech uh, a manual one. Alright, um, so I'm thinking for power, we'll just put a coal generator. I'll put a smart battery, but I don't have them yet. We're so close. <laughs> I love when they fall through. Let's do that. We'll dig out there. We'll probably lock one of the doors though. Maybe we'll lock this one. Oh, hey. Oh shit, there are two of them. I mean, they can kind of stay in there. There's nothing to eat in there anyway. Alright, let's lock this one. Alright, five dupes. I think, how many dupes did I have in my last game? I had eight. So, we're already most of the way there. It's crazy. And it's only cycle 26. So i got to be a bit careful that I don't go too much overboard with this. So, I'm thinking we're going to produce a lot of 
carbon dioxide in there. I think as long as... Ah, oh, shit. We need to refuel it, though. So... We probably need to take it out of there at some point. I got a really good suggestion on Discord of how to how to um, control all the carbon dioxide. It is a little bit risky though if it escapes, but basically the idea is that you make a little chamber like this with polluted water. I think I don't know if it can be any water, but polluted water definitely works. And then um, you empty it in like a little box and you put a vent there and you submerge the vent so much that it's underwater but it's not taking damage and then for some reason it just doesn't recognize how much pressure it is is in that room so it'll just keep pumping in gas into that room so i could do that and just completely pack a little box filled like full of carbon dioxide but if it ever ever gets out then it will just <laughs> destroy my colony but yeah that's an option that's an option I think that is a pretty good idea actually it'd be good if I could automatically put stuff in there. I know I can do it later, but you need to research a lot of different things. And they're things that I don't have. So, let's see. <laughs> I guess we probably need to cancel that for now. And we need to get over the top as well. So we'll do that. Oh, now you need to get out, dude. The drone. Oh, no. Okay, good. Oh, my God. What the hell, guys? <laughs> now you need to get out. Why do they do that? <laughs> Make life so hard for themselves. So what I'll do is... Um, I'll... Turn that off for now. And I'll mop up like a few tiles. And I'll just empty it in here. You need to finish doing that though. So I'll make a bottle emptier. And I also need to put a gas vent. So you put it on the floor. And I'll make sh I'll make a gas pipe. I don't know if it needs to be a pressurized one. I don't think so. But I'll do that. So that it can go out. What are you doing eating in here? <laughs> uh, we should maybe sweep everything that's in here. So they're just going to take a little time to do that. Because look, we've got 9 tons of coal. And... This thing... How much does it actually use? It uses... One kilogram a second. I don't know how many seconds are in a cycle, but... It's not... That much. But what we can do with the smart battery... Is we can turn it on and off... When... We need it. So if we don't need any power, then it won't be running. It won't be using it. Which was... 
it's probably the, one of the mistakes that I made in the last run. Because it was still running even if we had full power. And it just used up all my coal so quickly. So I'm just going to get everything out of here. Because we don't want to go back in here. If we can avoid it. And then we need a gas pump. In here. I'll just put it there. Whatever. And... It doesn't really matter what gas comes out, but I'll just make a... I don't even have a filter. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll make a filter. Where is that? It's right here. Alright, we'll get that next. So I think we'll just we'll connect it like this for now. And wait till we get the smart battery. We have 600 kilograms of refined metals. I feel like we might need a little more. Yo! Nice, that's the batteries. Do they need refined metals? They do, of course they do. Well, I'll just make one for now. Jobs mastered. Who mastered their jobs? Kiru. The minor one always goes so quickly. Because you, you just need it all the time. Digging is 10. Wow. Good stuff. Alright, so uh, we want the filter. Right. Cool. Uh, disable that, please. And we want that to connect to other things, don't we? So this is 840. It would be just over. But then again, we don't use that all the time. And we don't use that all the time. So it should be okay to connect that. So connect it like that. Cool. Alright, so now we need refined metal. Uh, oh wait, no, it's automatic stuff. So we'll connect it like that. I think that's all you need to do. So then it'll work. Let's see. Uh, input will go on standby when battery is more than 100% charged. Becomes active when battery... Okay. So, when the battery gets to... I wish I could change the numerical value. Uh, so when the battery is, let's say, 25%, this should turn on. And... It will go on standby, so it will turn off when it gets to 100. Yeah, that's good. Gas filter. Do like that. And... Nah. We'll make it go down. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So carbon dioxide will go in there, and oxygen can just come out there. And that needs power too. Okay. So now we need to put a little bit of polluted water in here just a little bit though so maybe if we mop up just one tile or something do that all right <laughs> it's mopping up a lot Uh, 
Uh, we already disabled that one. That's good. Yep. Good. Okay, we need a bit more. And this is going to be carbon dioxide. Oh. Gas vent over pressure. Why is it over pressure? Do I need to mop up a little bit? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's disable it for now. We'll try and mop up a tiny bit. Ah, that's too much. Oh, wait, is it going to spread a little bit? Ah, oh, it's too much. Okay. Try again. Might have to do it on like a slow speed. Alright, stop. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> so close. Is that enough? Is that good? I think that might be good. Alright, now we'll... Ooh, actually, before I close it up, I should just put in... Put in a gas pump in there. Why is that overpressurized? What the heck? Put in a gas pump. Gas pipe, in case I want to take that and power in case I need that I can get rid of that cool alright so I hope that works I should probably do this so that if there is a lot of oxygen it's not running. You know what? I could just do that manually for now. But when I get like the sensors and stuff, I don't really, I don't think I really have that stuff. Yeah, I don't have the sensors, but when I do, I'll, I'll do that. Oh no. Okay, good. Wait, what? Okay, I think it's just really, really finely balanced, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It is a bit cheaty, but whatever. Uh, what do we want now? Let's just get that. So if I ever do have too much carbon dioxide in there that I want to get rid of, I can just pump it out into like a carbon skimmer or something. But that would use all my water getting rid of that. <laughs> Whatever. So we want to keep that full. That's going to power our stuff. So it turns on when it gets to 25%. And what is 25%? Oh, but this guy runs no matter what. So I just want to see this in action, guys. Can we turn it on, please? Refill it. Insufficient resources. We've got 9 tons of coal. Come on, guys. There is sufficient resources. Alright, now I'm going to disable that. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to run until it's full. And then it should turn off. Hopefully.
All right, cool. It turned it off. Yes. So now it's stopped. And when it gets down to 25%, it'll turn it back on. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for that suggestion in the Discord. Also, if you guys uh, aren't in my Discord channel yet, there's a link uh, in the description, as always. And I think there's one on my channel and stuff. You can find me. And yeah, feel free to have a chat with me in Discord. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying this series so far, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.